Welcome back to the Dead River Builder. I'm Curtis Hoffman. We're here with Gaken Kits to see what science can show us. Now, one of the next kits is a DC motor. This thing's a lot of fun, but it doesn't do much. The idea behind this particular kit is you've got a wheel that has six magnets on it. And on top of this wheel, you've got a little coil. And this coil attracts the next magnet on the wheel up to where the coil is. Now, right next to the front of this car is a reed switch. Now, the reed switch is magnetized. And as the next magnet on the wheel comes up to the switch, it opens and that turns the coil off. So as the wheel is moving, the coil turns off and doesn't cause the magnet to come back underneath the coil. So the wheel turns, coil turns off, wheel continues turning, moves out from underneath the switch, switch turns back on, coil turns on, grabs the next magnet, and the process repeats and the thing moves pretty quickly. Now again, this particular kit is low torque. So while there is a little pulley that's attached to the rear wheel of the car that allows the car to uh, move around, the problem is that if you touch the wheel, it causes, or touch the tire, it causes the motor itself to stop running because the torque is so low. Now, the motive power on this is a AA battery. The modifications you can make here, use a larger coil, put in a second battery, or even make your own car larger with a big coil, big magnets, and a 12 volt battery. This kit's about 2,000 yen, which is a little better than $20. Along with the pictures of how to build the motor and how the motor works, the principles behind electricity and magnets, you've got concept cars. How to build electric cars, old electronics that use the same principles of coil, battery, and wire for making uh, telegraphs and engines, simple DC motors. Then you've got the inevitable comic book that tells you the science behind how the people that discovered this stuff learned about it themselves. This is a fairly straightforward kit, has about 20 pieces again, but in this case you're building the coil. So you're actually wrapping wire around the uh, iron core and then attaching those wires to the rest of the circuit. So in this case, it's a little bit more difficult from a physical point of view because you want to make sure that the coil is wrapped properly. First time I did this, I wrapped it wrong and I ended up having to unravel about 40 feet worth of wire and start over again. But this one worked right out of the box. Once I had the entire circuit uh, turned on, the motor started running and it ran very well. To turn it off, the reed switch is on a little arm. And when the arm is 90 degrees perpendicular to where the coil is, that causes the reed switch to open up and that turns the coil off. And at that point, you're saving battery. If the magnets are in any other position, not next to the coil, then you're going to be going through batteries and you're probably going to have a dead battery by the next morning. Again, these books have more than just the project that you're working on. So, there's even a uh, background on magnetic levitation for bullet trends. There's a lot of different things that you can do with the Gaken kits, and there's always advertising for the more expensive ones. If you want to go big bucks, you can get the Sterling engine, which is about $1,500, $1,600 right now. But this is a fun little kit, and again, once you're done, it's gonna go on the shelf, collect dust as an art piece. People can come over, look at it, and go, wow, what's that? And then for about 15, 20 seconds, you've got something to do. After that, you got the books.